Hi there, long time no see, yeah. Uh, so today I wanted to talk about some top books that we recommend uh, if a child or a family with a child is going through some difficult times. So it is uh, death of a family member or illness or say a loved one leaving uh, for a long time. Uh, things like that. Uh, so some very serious and difficult to discuss uh, topics with children. Here are some books and stories that will help you uh, and your child uh, decipher this feeling better and take it in a slightly better manner and not really feel bad about being sad, right? So in no particular order, uh, these are the books. Uh, they are not specifically preschool children friendly because uh, in terms of page numbers, they are somewhere around 30 to 50 pages. Uh, if it is an individual read, I would highly recommend slightly older kids, say anywhere between uh, 8 years plus to read them. Uh, but if you are a parent or an adult, you can read this and then convey it in a manner which is preschool friendly to children who are below I would say five years or something right uh, so the first book that I recommend is called uh, the invisible string and it is not exactly related to uh, matters of uh, death or somebody leaving but in general it the key message of the book is uh, you're always connected to somebody who is even not near you so that is the objective of the book and in a very sweet manner they uh, tell you this message right the next book is uh, nana upstairs and nana downstairs uh, this is the author's portrayal of uh, losing his uh, great grandmother who he called nana upstairs and how he deals with the loss uh, it's very specific to a particular relationship the child shares with the great grandmother but I'm sure it is applicable to other relationships as well. The third book that uh, we recommend is called Tears Soup. Tears Soup, right? It's, uh, it's again uh, not dealing with a specific kind of loss but in general uh, you know being away from somebody you really like and losing a loved one or a loved one relocating. So this is a very uh, generic book for different kinds of sadness that a child or a family may be going through. Uh, okay, so our fourth recommendation is uh, Michael Rosen's Sad Book. Uh, this was written by the author Michael Rosen when he lost his child so it tends to get really sad when you read it but I think the author's approach when he was like high on those emotions he wrote this uh, this book and we as adults and as parents can take a lot from this book right I'll be mentioning all the book names and links in the description so you can always go through that uh, the last book that we recommend is called the memory box so this is again uh, how a particular character deals with grief by maintaining a memory box so uh, the character keeps a collection of uh, tidbits of memories of the particular person and how this helps uh, the character overcome grief and loss of a loved one so it's again a very uh, emotional kind of story but it is also hopeful in some matters so it's not really very very sad it's more like a way of overcoming that particular grief right uh, i hope none of the children or families have ever have to go through this but in case you do please follow uh, one of the books whichever you can find whatever is available near you and I hope it helps you in some form of the other. Yeah. Okay. See you.